Hello and welcome. I call the channel The Jungle Nook, and this is going to be a channel update. It's been, I think, maybe three weeks since my last video. Um, I, uh, I live in New York State, and uh, it's in the United States. New York State is one of the more northern states, and we get some pretty intense winters here, especially right where we're at. Uh, we get some uh, some lake effect snow and lake effect weather from the Great Lakes. So our, our winter here is a little bit longer, you know, so our summers are a little bit shorter. So my wife and I, you know, we, we try to take advantage of this time of the year and we do uh, a lot of hikes and try to spend as much time outside as possible. So I'm trying to come up with creative ways to continue to put videos out over the summer. And although I'm going to continue doing all the same types of videos that I have been doing, just won't be doing as many of them. I'm going to, to uh, film some of our excursions. Um, it won't be about us or what we're doing. It's going to be more about the scenery and stuff. Tomorrow I'm going to the Buffalo Botanical Gardens. And you know, I'm going to bring the camera and I'm going to film some of that. I think you guys might like that. They got some, some really beautiful uh, exhibits there. Um, and then uh, I think uh, in a few weeks from now we're going to be going to the Buffalo Zoo and uh, they have a indoor rainforest with uh, a bunch of animals and birds, all live plants and stuff. It's really nice. So that will be another video. As well as Niagara Falls. We're going to be going to Niagara Falls for the weekend uh, at some point. So I'm going to get some nice shots of that. We'll probably go out on the Maid of the Mist so we can get right up to the falls. You can even go down below the falls. Um, I'll get some shots from down there and they have a lot of really nice uh, scenery there. I think these types of videos might be relaxing and you might enjoy them. And it's going to be scenery, you know, the plants and animals and things like that. And while we're at Niagara Falls, they have a, uh, a restaurant that is a uh, tropical rainforest themed restaurant. I'll probably make two videos for that trip, one of the falls and one I'll get some quick shots of uh, the inside of that restaurant. And there's also a real small uh, aquarium in Niagara Falls too, on, on the uh, American side. And I'll get some shots in there too. And a bunch of hikes and stuff. You know, I'm, I'm just trying to come up with, with ways to continue to make videos that are kind of, you know, with the theme of the jungle look. Um, like I said, I'll still be doing the, the, uh, the videos that I have been doing, but one of my upcoming videos is going to be um, on this room. I call this the nook. It's the main growing room. And this room is not going to look like this after summer. Um, it's the first week of May. It's the first week of May. And our temperature here, our nighttime temperature, is just now breaking 50 degrees. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't get another frost within the next couple of weeks. So I'm waiting a few more weeks to see what the weather's doing. And then I'll be moving a lot of these plants outside. And um, so I'm going to be doing a video explaining the lighting in here. Um, I, I get a lot of questions about the lighting. I tried to explain it a few times. I think... When I, when I make the video on how this room functions, uh, I'll be able to explain the lighting better, uh, as well as uh, the circ air circulation, the humidity, the temperature, how I control and regulate all of that, and how I'm able to uh, maintain everything uh, with really not that much time. I do spend about an hour or two <laughs> every day in this room, usually Monday through Friday. And uh, I'm saying an hour or two, but I do kind of get lost in here and, you know, I'll be watering and the next thing you know, I, you know, I just get lost in the room looking at the stuff and, but I guess I'm kind of rambling now. Uh, we're going to be able to see the porch when it's all set up this year. I have a 55 gallon tank. I never showed you last year that I set up in the summer out on the porch. One of the big changes in this room besides additional lighting is over here. I'm pretty sure next week I'm ordering something that I'm going to use as a pot. It is eight feet by, I believe, five feet. 
and uh, I'm going to be filling that with uh, with a potting mix. I'll make up a nice organic potting mix so that I can plant a variety of different plants all into one pot because you know when I started the, when I started this room and I I got started I was just trying to see if I could grow plants in the house as well as I'm able to grow plants outside. And I am happy with how healthy my plants look. Uh, I'm actually happy with how quick I was able to grow them. That was one of my goals was to try to grow my plants as quick as possible. I don't need to grow them as quick as I was. <laughs> um, I learned some lessons. Um, I'll share them with you. But I want this room to look and feel more like a uh, like you're in a jungle. I want to see less of the floor, less of the walls. I want my plants to be layered. I don't really know how to describe that, but I, you know, I, I want I just want this room to be fuller. But I just I'll let you look at some more of these plants for a few minutes. Uh, I'll, I'll put some music on now.